Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Please remember that when you cross the finish line, wherever in the world that may be. Have a great Sunday, we'll all be cheering you on. Good luck. The Duke surprised virtual London Marathon runners in Los Angeles, including cancer survivor Chetney Esperichu, who's running for her mom's brain cancer battle, and Eric Schneider, who has run six marathons with three titanium screws in his spinal cord. The London Marathon has gone virtual this year due to the pandemic. With the exception of elite athletes who will be able to race in central London, Elite athletes will have to run 19 laps of the downscaled marathon route. Harry has been patron of the London Marathon Charitable Trust since 2012. In a special video wished people good luck and praised participants for providing a lifeline for vulnerable people amid the pandemic by raising money for charities. The annual marathon race was due to take place on April 26th. What was pushed back to October 4th? You're not counting this as your sixth, uh, sixth marathon? Uh, nor is London. <laughs> okay. But um, that's okay. So, every, so everyone's, everyone's taking part and, and calling it a marathon, uh, a virtual marathon, but no one's actually counting it as officially no. a marathon. Yeah, yeah, this would have been my sixth world. I know you do all the training, I don't know how many half marathons, I don't even know, do you do a marathon before actually running the marathon? I did not reach marathon distance. No. Um, I've done a couple of long runs prior leading to this, but... A little more personal this time versus certainly more communal yeah. the other events. Yeah. Challenge Rock, 250,000 people on one hill. Yeah. for her mm -hmm. yeah and it's the 40th you know the 40th race yeah so you know for my mom and mark who are you running for Pop and well, i'm i'm <laughs> running for my mother-in-law too yeah. and my mom um my mom just had a stroke last year too so she's kind of recovering and my mother-in-law is battling brain cancer yeah. so kind of dedicated for her yeah. and for both of them yeah no, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking more about your, your injury. Do you, do you feel it when you're running? I mean, the, the no, no. I remember I just couldn't walk down the street. So the pain, the pain is, the pain you're feeling is very much legs. The pain very much lower extremities. <laughs> <laughs> yes. what's, your, what's, the, what's the time that you guys are aiming for? Four and a half, five hours? Longer? Shorter? I'm aiming for at least five hours. Yeah. So you got five hours? Four to five hours. Depends if it's going to be this. Yeah, gonna is it going to be this? Depending on the heat. Another report. Meghan Markle is Donald Trump's newest target. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, recently began a whole new chapter of her life and is becoming more involved in causes that matter to her. In the past several months, Meghan has popped up in a few unexpected places via video message and fans are excited to see what she will speak out about next. While many of her stalwart supporters love seeing Meghan come into her own, she also has some enemies. In particular, President Donald Trump recently talked about Meghan, and his comments regarding his feelings toward her have the internet buzzing. Meghan Markle's political activism. As a child, and eventually, as a young woman working in Hollywood, Meghan was drawn to political activism. She even received early acclaim for protesting against a company's marketing of dish soap, claiming that the television commercial promoting it was sexist. As she grew older, Meghan continued her quest to create a better world for women and marginalized groups, speaking out on regular occasions. When she met Prince Harry in 2016, the two bonded over their love of activism, and as a couple, they campaigned hard for socio-political causes, including environmental activism and better education for women and children. Still, Meghan and Prince Harry were held back by the demands of the royal family, and since the royals have a long-standing tradition of remaining apolitical, 
the outspoken couple were not able to go all out on their activism efforts. The royal family traditionally stays out of politics. For the royal family, maintaining certain traditions is very important. The royals, while they are enabled to live a life of privilege due to the power of their position in Britain, keep that status by following certain unwritten rules. One of those rules is that they remain apolitical as much as possible. In order to stay in the public's good graces, the British royal family tries to remain firmly in the middle of the aisle when it comes to politics, and they definitely avoid endorsing various political candidates based on their own individual views. Meghan and Prince Harry seem to want to follow those rules, at least initially. Still, it didn't take long before Meghan's strong political opinions and feminist viewpoint became evident. She received backlash for guest editing the September 2019 edition of British Vogue, especially when readers discovered that the issue primarily focused on those who were firmly on the left side of the political aisle. What did Donald Trump recently say about Meghan Markle? When Prince Harry and Meghan announced earlier this year that they would be stepping down from their role as senior royals, fans correctly assumed that it wouldn't take long before they began becoming more politically active. Meghan's first big statement was following the death of George Floyd with an impassioned speech to her former high school. Additionally, in recent weeks, she has been talking openly about women's rights, the electoral process, and the importance of voting. Most recently, Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry, appeared in a video where they encouraged people everywhere to vote, stating that people should reject hate speech, misinformation, and online negativity. Many viewers took their words as an indirect endorsement for the Democratic candidate, Joe Biden. When President Donald Trump was asked about the video message featuring Meghan, he had this to say. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle uh, chimed in on the U.S. election and essentially encouraged people to vote for Joe Biden. I wanted to get your reaction to that. I'm not a fan of hers. And uh, I would say this, and she probably has heard that, but uh, I wish a lot of luck to Harry. because He's going to need it. Clearly, Meghan is getting herself in some hot water with those in high places. Whether she continues speaking out remains to be seen, but based on her track record, she will likely continue shaking things up where she can, especially since she no longer has to worry about what the royal family thinks. Another analysis. Meghan Markle's gold Cartier watch once belonged to Princess Diana. While they never got the opportunity to meet, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Princess Diana, share a ton of similar characteristics. This seems to suggest that they would have probably gotten along well. Though their introductions into the British royal family was very different, the women's discussions about trying to fit into the firm had similar tones and themes. Outside of that, both the Duchess and the Princess focused on philanthropy and helping others, especially those who were often forgotten about and cast aside in society. Another thing that the ladies have in common is their elegant style. In fact, Meghan inherited a ton of jewelry from Princess Diana. Princess Diana and Meghan Markle are similar in many ways. It's no secret that both Princess Diana and Meghan struggled within the British royal family. The late princess divorced Prince Charles and was living an independent life prior to her tragic death in 1997. Meghan took a different path. After two years of being bullied and attacked in the British press, as she tried to adhere to all of the protocols that come with royal life, the Duchess and Prince Harry decided to embark on a different journey. Now, they are independent citizens living in California. Meghan Markle inherited a ton of Princess Diana's jewelry. Catherine. Duchess of Cambridge inherited Princess Diana's iconic sapphire engagement ring. However, Meghan was given a lot of the princess jewels as well. In a letter of wishes, 
I would like you to allocate all my jewelry to the share to be held by my sons, so that their wives may, in due course, have it or use it. I leave the exact division of the jewelry to your discretion. Megan now has a pair of gold butterfly stud earrings, a gold bracelet, an aquamarine ring she wore to her wedding reception, and two of the smaller diamonds on the former actor's engagement ring were sourced from the princess collection. Meghan Markle wears Princess Diana's gold Cartier watch often. On recent video calls and appearances, the Duchess has been seen wearing another one of Princess Diana's iconic pieces, her gold Cartier watch given to her by her father on her 21st birthday. On September 29, during Meghan's virtual appearance at Fortune's Most Powerful Women Summit, fans noticed the Princess Gold Cartier Tank front says watch on Meghan's wrist. If you've been paying attention, the Duchess has been wearing the watch a ton recently. The classic piece goes well with Meghan's more laid-back look. Initially, when Prince Harry and Prince William went through their mother's jewels, the younger prince chose her engagement ring with the Duke of Cambridge chose the Cartier watch. However, in 2010, just before Prince William proposed to Kate, the brothers swapped. Prince Harry said, Wouldn't it be fitting if she had mummy's ring? Then one day that ring will be sat on the throne of England. Now, Meghan wears the $22,000 18-carat yellow gold timepiece often. An insider said, Clearly, even though it was not what he originally selected as a special keepsake, Diana's watch is something that holds great significance for Harry. So to see Meghan wear his mother's watch must be very bittersweet. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.